Many say that the planet is being destroyed by greed. And when they say greed, they mostly think of free market capitalism. Its growth, trade and transportation create pollution and global warming. And now we need the opposite, degrowth for the planet's sake. But we know that they are wrong because we just tried it. The coronavirus pandemic was a giant experiment in degrowth. We blocked trade and ground in the plains. We stopped the world at a terrible price in terms of increased poverty and hunger. And how much did this reduce carbon dioxide emissions in 2020? Take a guess. No, not even close. It was reduced by no more than 6%. If we tried to reach the Paris Climate Accords by doing less, we would need one pandemic like this every year until 2030. And interestingly, that would make global warming more dangerous to us, not less. In fact, the risk of dying in a climate-related disaster floods, drought, storms and extreme heat has been reduced by some 95% since the 1950s. Not because we have fewer disasters today, but because we have more wealth and technology to deal with all sorts of unforeseen problems. So, instead of abolishing an industrial civilization that saved lives and reduced poverty, we have to make sure that it runs on green technology and non-fossil fuels. Many of the technologies to do it are too expensive to be rolled out globally right now. But what do we need when something is too expensive? More innovation to reduce them in price and more economic growth to increase purchasing power. And we need free trade so new technologies spread faster. And this happens fastest in the freest and richest economies. As the Environmental Performance Index of Yale University concludes, environmental performance correlates strongly with a country's wealth. More than 40 countries have managed to reduce CO2 emissions while at the same time growing their economies. And they just happen to be the world's freest and wealthiest countries with the most developed market economies. The point is, ladies and gentlemen, that greed, for lack of a better word, is green.